is here now with more on what they plan to discuss. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. President Lindsay says he is meeting with Secretary of State Antony Blinken and Defense Secretary Lord Austin. The White House, though, is not publicly confirming the visit. Fighting continues in eastern and southern Ukraine as Ukrainians celebrate one of their most important holidays of the year. Blinken and Austin would be the highest ranking U.S. officials to go to Ukraine since Russia's invasion began 60 days ago. Zelensky says he will give U.S. leaders a list of what his military needs and a timetable for delivery. The U.S. alone has already allocated nearly three and a half billion dollars in military assistance. In Mariupol, Russian forces continue attacking a sprawling steel factory from the air and on the ground. Hundreds of Ukrainian civilians and soldiers remain holed up in the facility, which is blocked off by Russian uh, soldiers. Ukraine's government claims the Russians are refusing to open a humanitarian corridors so families can evacuate. In Kharkiv, Russia continues attacking residential areas with rockets. Russia now controls more than 20 villages in Ukraine's second largest city. The region's governor says 700 people have been killed since the start of the war. All of this comes as Ukrainians gather for solemn Easter celebrations. Worshippers stood in line outside a church in Buka to receive blessings. The town is on the outskirts of Kyiv, where many civilians were killed. President Zelensky, ahead of today's meeting, says he is now starting to get the weapons he needs. The signals, the messages, uh, the stay, the steps, uh, the uh, the terms and deadlines, and the quality. Of course, I'm talking about the weapons, uh, uh, which is uh, planned to be delivered by the United States. Everything has improved, and I'm very much grateful for that. President Zelensky added he is hopeful today's meeting with the U.S. secretaries will pave the way for a visit from President Biden. Back to you.